Myself with conscience, I let that go a long time ago. The chances are, if they send me to get you, you done messed up somewhere, dude. Cause I'm a hit man. I like what I do, but I'm a hit man. And I might be after you. It's fascinating how many ways I found to lay someone to rest. I seem to have such an awesome day When a job puts me to the test The days of just pulling the trigger are gone I hope never to be seen again You know, I wish I could get me an atom bomb And vaporize all my friends <laughs> You might say I'm the Antichrist You should be locked in a padded cell How do you know I'm not your neighbor And about to blow you all to hell yeah. Hit man, you know that I saw you today. But I'm a hit man. Can you feel the impending doom? But I'm a hit man. Say hello to my little friend. He says, "Boom." Take it. 
They would adore me. Why did God create me? Feels like he just hates me. Why did he desert me? All he does is hurt me. I will make him listen. Keep you bastards guessing. Thank you. 
city to city when you first got started, either because of boredom or fuck-ups. Personally, I think it's the second one. Thanks again. You wound up here by accident. Well, either accident or you ran out of places to go. Once again, you think it's the second one? Yeah. I can see it's going to be real fun working with That's you. That's your problem, Paulie, at least from what I can see. You don't take your job seriously. That is where you're wrong. I hope I am. It'll make things easier. So, the job? What's first up? First, we're going to stop by Little Ed's accountant's office to check out some rumors. Rumors? He might be skimming off the top. Skimming? Yeah. <laughs> then? Then we go from there. That's it? I was hired to ask questions. You <laughs> sound disappointed. Well, that's not exactly what I do. What do you do? Let me give you a piece of advice. You, you do. Like Little Ed tells you to do. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. We just met. You got all these ideas about who I am. You ever think you might be wrong? You ever think you might not know me as good as you think you do? You ever think that? Nope. Fuck this. You know what, big guy? You do what you were hired to do, and I'll worry about my end. Stay out of my way. Listen, listen, because I don't want to fucking repeat this. You're good, but I promise you are not good enough to fuck with me. I will make you disappear, you understand? I'm a cleaner, that's what I do. I will turn you into a fucking grease spot in the blink of an eye. I worked for Eduardo Santiago, and for whatever reason, Lil Ed decided to pair us up. Now me and you, we're buddies. What you do reflects on me, so if you fuck up, I look bad, and I won't look bad. That won't happen. Understood? You are very, very replaceable. I'm real close to retirement, and no small time little fucking thug is gonna screw that up for me. Got it? Got it. Hey! Turn him loose, you bully. What? I was helping him swallow. Turn around and eat. Just don't create any messes I have to clean up. I got up. it, I got it. You got some anger management issues. I've just really been looking forward to retirement, you know? I think it's about time for you, too. Come on. You think I'm edgy or something? You think I'm too tense? Retirement or decaf, that's all I'm saying. Oh, she does get 
people they rose an important name that just continued to grow history always repeats itself they say strong men just keep getting stronger that way Santiago was a man such as these ten times more cojones in a hurricane if you cross the lead, said you're dead. If you cross little Ed, if you mess with little Ed, he's going to remove your head. Mm-hmm. Don't you go cross the lead now. I said, well, John the Baptist had gone and made a dreadful mistake, taking on a whole darn kingdom just for heaven's sake. Well, he might have gotten off scot free. King Herod had a daughter who just wanted to see his old prophets paid on a plate. Ooh, the side of red beans and rice and chitlins and hog towels and pig's feet. Whoa, that girl can read. They just don't tell you every little thing in the Bible. Shoot, that girl was a mile wide. Well, I guess that's how the tradition all started. Later on in France, the women ain't got no pants. And that bitch whore spoke the words, let them eat cake. The old folks just didn't take that queen. Cause I told you before that she sure was mean. Quote the local reporters, they are both now a foot shorter. <laughs> just goes to show you now. So no pissing on the common folk. Don't go eat no yellow snow, neither. Yellow snow. Mm, make you sick as hell. Sick as hell. I ain't speaking from no experience, you understand. Yes, you are. <laughs> Look here. I guess we should talk about that notorious day. like this. The Senor Eduardo threw a party one day by his pool. So far everyone was still alive and playing the cool. Then later someone came through the door. Face little lead knew he'd seen somewhere before. But how this cat was walking around he just didn't know. I put a contract down on that fuck years ago. Hey, you know this did not amuse him one little bit. Yeah, yeah. The fishman of thought, man. Here's what happened next. It seemed that Eduardo had been played as a chump. This distressed him greatly since he always carried the trunk. It took a second or two to decide what to do. He was going to turn this cat's face into a meaty lump. lump. Lord, that boy had no idea what he was getting into when he came on it. If you mess with Ed, I say mess with Ed and you're dead. Don't mess with Ed. Cause he'll chew you up and spit you out if he has not fed. fed. Mess with Ed and you're dead. Look out now. Will he emerge from his study? The pistol bought in Bristol. Like a rhino plopped down into a china shop. Breaking all kinds of shit during his fit. Face glaring, nostrils flaring. Mr. Hyde busting open wide. The whole room was an atomic mushroom. mushroom. And it was like the sea of red split apart for little Ed. Yeah, his eyes were fixed upon that wicked trickster. He bore an unassuming grin upon his chin. It became a killer smile that danced a while. The lid offered his hand to the man that had his hand. He said one word that in Spanish made it turn. And he brought that gun up in front of everybody. Put it up under the man's chin. He said, Whoa. I win. It took great delight in that horrible sight. He laughed as the font of red erupted from the back of the man's head. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, there's about 50 people there, y'all. I swear every word is true. Sure as my name's Mojo King. Would I lie to you? Oh, you know you can trust me. Tougher than a shaft or Leroy Brown. I'm gonna slap you if I have to tell you again. Shit, those assholes are made up. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell you. Santiago's the real deal. It's me. Don't mess with it. It's me. Don't mess with it. It's me. Don't mess with it. Ooh, don't mess with it.
take the train fare from the cookie jar Spill my coffee drinking in the car I am working on my five-year plan so me and wifey can work on our tent I'm so happy I can be a family man <laughs> Excuse me don't criticize my savior, you just don't belong. I recognize your strange behavior, you must agree. You are nothing like me. Mm, I don't like folks with mohawks. And I don't talk to folks with dreadlocks. Tax help, go and see my brother. I don't work for weirdos, freaks, or others. Cause I am working on my five year plan. So me and wifey can work on the ten. I'm so happy I can be a family man. Come on, excuse me. Don't criticize my savior. Just don't belong. I recognize that strange behavior. You must agree. You are nothing like me. Well, I am crawling towards promotions. God bless my wife for her devotion. Lately, my son has got the strangest notions. He doesn't realize for by cross the ocean. I am working on my five year plan. So me and wifey can work on our tents. I'm happy, happy I could be a family man. Cause, excuse me, don't criticize my savior. You just don't belong. I recognize your strange behavior. You must agree that you are nothing like me.
He's going to show me how to be a man. A family man who understands. Left to alone in my most confusing years. Never more will my daddy wipe my tears. He worked so hard, he had no time for me. Countless ball games, he never came to sleep. Your attention could have changed my life. You left behind a grieving son and wife. Why do you have to go? Better than none at all. Why weren't you there to see me win or fall? They tell me I will soon start therapy to see what kind of man this boy will be. They tell me it's okay to be mad at dad. It was not the best, but it was all I had.
walk out your door Feelings I never paid attention to before Always trying to see I told the line Saying sorry doesn't help this time Never reached their prime And you received an angel for your wife Where can I get one to fix my life? Sorry for all the pain that I caused you But no matter what you always do Just what to do You were more than a brother You were my friend Broken, your life had to end. I will take care of your wife and son. Fight for them till our race is run. Any time I'm stuck, I'll think of you. Then I know I'll figure out what you do. I have no idea what will happen to us all. Tiago's boils might nail us to the wall If we should all meet this cold embrace I hope I'll get to see your heavenly face Happy is 
is the woman taken to wife and her husband and family become her whole life she feels a sense of purpose deep down inside knowing all too well she will serve as the guide but the horrible pain when her Appear. Tragic is the day Alone she'll raise her son Learn to live through this hell They will feel a sense of purpose Deep down inside In each other each other and try their best not to dwell on the sadness that descended upon their house a careless corruption of beloved From this tragic event, something must come that's good. The survivors are strengthened by what they withstood. These survivors are strengthened by this thing they withstood. come to get me. They are deadly mercenaries. See how they mutilated fingers of my secretary. Oh my god, they are going to kill me and my family. Let me fight back with honor with some kind of dignity. Why did I ever get mixed up with all these sons of bitches? Why did I have to be seduced by sights of dripping riches? This is my country. Why should he make all the fucking money? Benches in mine with Santiago's blood streaks will run. He must be Protect my brother's wife and son, it must be me who finally stands up and does the right thing for them. They will see I'm ready to die instead of further curse my family name. Maybe I'm late, but now I know I will die in shame.
Secretary calls him a smelly, ugly hog. She might know more than she's willing to say, so they hack off her fingers and melt her all away. Brother Ronnie's timing is so bad, he comes back for the keys he thought he had. He sees Polly and Sal's and thinks they're there to rob, but they throw him in the car, turn his eye to shish kebab. Put his head in the leather bowling bag. The amount of blood was enough to make a gag. Opens it up and starts to throw a fit. Better get the right guy or I'll pop him like a zit.
these killers messed up, so they go to see Gwen. She's asking questions like, what, who, when? They hand her some bills, she's asking what for. Here comes Brother Rod, bouncing up to the door. <laughs> Sound knows Roger is the guy they seek. The wicked chase is on. Roger's running until he's weak. He shoots Polly, hits Sal, barely gets away. He gets another gun and makes the bastard pay. <laughs> Tries to make him realize the damage he's done. They smack each other's faces, knees him in the nuts. Polly's in the doorway, telling Rod to throw some guts. Mm. It looks like this is it for Roger and Gwen. Jeff's just in time to see their lives end. Points the gun at Polly, he's about to do him in. Around the corner comes Sarah with an evil grin. <laughs> Sal and Polly's job is through. There's just one more job for Sal to do. Because Polly cheated Ed, the little flake. That's all there is to the plot of Big Mistake. Uh -huh.